guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to part three of my supermarket series whereby I am basically trawling the shelves, having a look at the homeware fashion and just kind of like having a browse around the supermarket whilst doing my weekly food shop. So the first supermarket that I went and tried and tested was Tesla. Goes. Then I went to Morrison's. Today is Asda. Today is definitely my favourite of the three. I am going to just say that because wait till you see the bargain, bargains, plural, that I have found in the fashion. Having said that, Aldi and Lidl are always a favourite go-to for me for the middle of Lidl and this special buys at Aldi. And also Sainsbury's tend to do really good homeware and fashion as well. So we have a huge Sainsbury's in fact with like a massive habitat homeware section. So yeah, maybe that one should be next. Let me know. Should I do Aldi and Lidl or Sainsbury's next? I don't think there's any other supermarkets I'm missing out. I don't think so. And I'm going to have to start with fashion because honestly, wait till you see the price points that I have paid for some of these items. And I'll show you these that I found before I found the bargain section, the sale section. So these were both full price new in. Now, I will just say the Asda that I went to didn't seem to have as much new stock in. And I've seen online, they've got some real cool pieces, like very Zara style pieces, like knit vests and everything that I really wanted to get my hands on, but ours maybe hadn't quite got the stock in yet, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is maybe head back and venture back to Asda in a few weeks time. Maybe even do another Asda haul, let me know if you'd be interested. The two new in kind of like full price items that I did pick up, firstly was this, which is like a jumper dress oversized jumper rather than a jumper dress made with the george for good range which is the sourced responsible cotton these were 16 pounds a really nice kind of washed effect dark charcoal gray it's also got a kind of bit of shoulder detailing it's like a kind of padded shoulder sleeve coming out of the padded shoulder there so a really nice detail quite trend led again and the fact that it's nice and oversized for me is like a go-to this however from the menswear they were doing 20 percent off all men's shirts just for like a limited time i think so again this is from the george for good responsible cotton in a 3xl i picked this one up from the menswear and it was £12.50, but with 20% off that price. So yeah, I sized up to the biggest size that they had, and my intention with this is just to wear it open with like a nice white bodysuit underneath, some jeans or like denim shorts when it gets a bit warmer. Let's move on to the sale rail. Sale rail, I couldn't get my words out then, it's too excited. So I got four items in the sale that they had. That's how much I spent on all of these. The grand total of four pounds. These items were a pound each, which is just insane to me. So the first thing that caught my attention was this jumper with this kind of like V black chevron detail design. I'm not sure how this is gonna wash well because when you pick up items that are black and white in color, I'm always a bit like Ooh, in the wash, but it was a pound. Full price, this one was 12.50. Cold wash recommended, there you go. And this one is, again, from the George for Good, contains recycled polyester. So, sustainably sourced, super oversized and relaxed fit for me. This is in a size large, 16 to 18. I feel like this tucked in with some um, jeans, some black skinny jeans. So yeah, this is one pound. This two is yet another an incredible price for what you're getting it's a leather jacket faux leather jacket from asda obviously from asda we all know that i'm doing an asda haul right now it's got this kind of biker style to it a bit of kind of ribbed edgings zip details there was only one left and the fact that it was in i think it's an extra large yeah size 20 this one's in which i'm really pleased with because i wanted that kind of relaxed fit kind of sit on your shoulder um, transitioning into spring, these little leather jackets are perfect. One pound! I also picked up this, which um, is like one of these kind of weatherproof jackets. It says it is shower resistant, packable, recycled wadding in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. So it comes with one of these little bags. These are the sort of thing that I like to call an emergency coat. I like to have 
Um, one of these maybe as a backup in the car for if we're going on a dog walk or something and I just feel like I need the extra layer. Always got one, always prepared and at just a pound I can just throw this in the back of my car as an emergency coat. And then the last pound item, pound bargain find, are these black joggers. Now these are a super soft cotton so this is definitely like a relaxed Sunday attire. Um, £12.50 again full price this one was in a medium 12 to 14 but it does have a drawstring waist which actually works so the fact that it's a size up for me I'm not too bothered about because I know I'll be able to cinch it in. It does have pockets as well and it's kind of like cuffed gathered at the bottom. One pound. I feel like now I deserve the bargain queen title am I right? I got a few homeware bits which I'm so glad to have got my hands on. So I was actually unsure if they were gonna bring these back. I've got one up here, which let me just move you up there in the middle of the fireplace, a little wax melt burner. So I've shown these in the past and they can be quite hard to get hold of. I know that they, am I really bright? Is that a bit better? I feel like that's a bit better. Um, they kind of sold out of these, at least our local one did um, in summer when I bought one of those and I thought I should have got a lot more. For this house, when we've eventually renovated it, I find wax melt burners really like powerful and strong and they work, which is what you want essentially in a home fragrance item. So um, I just loved the kind of minimal square design to this one as opposed to the standard wax melt burners, which come with like a little lip like that and then a more round. I just think this looks so much more modern, chic, and a bit more expensive as well. Just all white, very simple, and these are £2.50. So I picked up three of these, and my intention is just to have sort of one in every bedroom, so I might even need to get some more, but for now I'll just stick with the three, the one that I've got. Um, I can't remember if I bought any more last year. If they are, they'll be in storage down in the basement. So yay, I'm excited to have got my hands on some more of them. I also picked up this glass gel, which I thought would be super handy for making overnight oats in. It was only a pound. I probably could have done with two actually in case I'm making overnight oats for me and Tom. But it's just a seal tight jar, very simple and a good size for like a portion of overnight oats. So yeah, I picked that up for a pound. I saw these placemats and these were actually reduced in the sale from four pounds down to three. So they're a set of two placemats and so I picked up two. These would be good for like as runners, like down the middle of the table to put hot plates on, but also for obviously your own individual plates. Beautiful shade of straw for in the summer, nice and light, which I love. So six pound for a set of four. Maybe I should have got more actually. These would be great if you had like a nice outdoor hosting space as well. I think it would be beautiful to have those kind of laid out. I also really like the tea lights that I have to do for the wax melt burners because you get 30 unscented, which is what you want for a wax melt burner really, so it doesn't kind of mix with the scent of your wax melt or oil. And these are really great because they're eight hour approximate burn time. So it's really good to just pop on during the day and have it last pretty much throughout the day. These are three pound for a bag of 30. Then I got myself and Tom a couple of car air fresheners for each of our cars. And I picked myself up this Yankee Candle one, which was two pound 50. Robin smell, this one's in fluffy towels. It just smells like fresh laundry it's really good so it's just a little white yankee candle hanging kind of car air freshener and then for tom i picked this one up for him again scratch and sniff this one's in lynx black oh nice <laughs> i kind of want this one this one you just kind of like pop in your cup holder and it's like a little block so yeah that one was four pounds i picked up some water filter filter cartridges for our Brita filter. These are compatible with Brita, Maxtra and Maxtra Plus jugs. I think ours is the Maxtra Plus, which is so annoying because it means it doesn't fit within the door of the fridge. Does anyone else have that problem? I think the Brita filters for about two cartridges, they're about 12 pounds, something like six pounds a cartridge. These ones are 15 pounds for a box of six. So really great value. I picked up a few gift bags to add to my stockpile of ever-growing gift 
bags and cards and everything that I keep and these three I thought were quite nice they're only I think they're about 90p each so there's this white one with beautiful kind of rose gold love hearts on and then I got these two which kind of better suited maybe to men I mean I quite like that one but um obviously it says to the main man so yeah a little lion big lion with some sunglasses on have a raw some day and then this one's just quite plain and simple muted best day ever for the wax melt burners i did pick up some more wax melts in my absolute favorite scent that asda do these sensational um kind of wax melts that they do in asda honestly are incredible they're so strongly scented and these ones in particular are my favorite this is the cuddle up which is tonka and oud so good and to be honest with you i was very tempted to pick up a few different ones they've got like egyptian cotton zen linen they've got loads of different scents but this one's always my favorite and i feel like if i've got it burning in one room i might as well have it burning throughout the house so i just stocked up on three of these because these are on um offer three for five pounds i think they're two pounds each <laughs> tom might hate me a little bit for this but speaking quietly because it's in the other room i got us matching dog mugs dog mom dog dad i've gone a little bit mental since getting a dog i'm not gonna lie but these are two pounds each i like the fact they're black and white how cute dog mom dog dad they actually had a dalmatians one 101 dalmatians one that i was very tempted for because i loved the look of it and i do love the film as well but i thought i would just stick with these two two pounds each nice and big as well good generously sized for like a nice cozy hot chocolate <laughs> i'm just gonna make him a coffee one morning and just give it to him in that see what he says okay I am obsessed with 19 Crimes wine, red in particular. I don't tend to drink white or rosé, but Tom loves the white that they do. Um, but I love the red that they do. And I've tried the standard red 2020. And then the my favourite one is the one that's part aged in rum barrels, which is usually um, RRP of £10. Quite often they're on sale in supermarkets, aren't they? But I managed to find the Banished one, which is one that I've never tried before. It's apparently a dark red, 2019 year. And yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I love the branding. If ever you've tried 19 Crimes before or never tried it, then they are quite interactive in branding, which I know sounds a bit gimmicky, but honestly, it's so cool and they do taste really good. And um, it says based from the 1800s on real events and they're interactive. If you download the app Living Wine Labels, you scan this and it's like interactive. It starts moving and tells you the story of like a convict or something, I don't know, but quite cool they are 10 pounds but they were in sale in as i think for eight pounds i picked up some cutlery we were in need of some new cutlery i do have some black cutlery but it tarnishes and that's my fault probably because i do put them in the dishwasher um but to be fair we have had that set for a long time and they were a budget set anyway so these also 16 pounds pretty good budget set um, you get four of each, so it's 16 piece set in matte black, and then maybe once we fully renovated towards the end of the year, actually get some really decent, nice cutlery, but we did need some more for now, so I picked up them, 16 pounds for that. Oh, this is exciting, we've got a new book to read, this is the Stacey Solomon's Tap to Tidy, she's good friends with Mrs. Hinch, she's quite often sharing her tips and tricks on organisation and everything, storage solutions, so... This is her new book, Tap to Tidy, Organising, Crafting, Creating Happiness in a Messy World. And this one that they had in Asda, free dime bar with every purchase. Win-win. I love dimes. So I was happy to see that. This retails for $14.99. But in Asda, I think this was, yeah, it was £8. Okay, we have a little Costa dupe here. I got the two to compare and try both. These ones are actually um, full beans though, which is a bit annoying. We do have a coffee grinder. It's just a lot easier to buy ground coffee. But anyway, the Costa coffee one, this is the signature blend number three medium. And then this is number three strength and similar kind of coloring and everything. So I'm going to try this and see what it's like because this was two pounds for the beans. I can't remember how much the ground coffee was. I should have probably pick that one up but never mind and this one i think was about one pound 20 and then the other coffee 
thing that I stocked up on are these Starbucks instant ones that starts doing in the UK. These are so good if you like a quick and easy instant coffee, which is like pre-mixed with the milk powder and everything. These are honestly really good. They're really creamy and rich. This one is in the caramel latte. I've got the mocha version and the cappuccino version already. So you get five in a box, so they go pretty quickly, especially if you like have one a day. Um, but yeah, really, really recommend these. And in Asda, these ones were £2.90, £2.90 I think. It's kind of like rubbed off on the receipt. That's why I'm saying the I think at the end of the prices. Definitely 2.9 something. I think it's 2 pound 90. Anyway, last but not least is something for my little man. Barney, my little golden retriever puppy. I think he's gonna love this. Look how like weird and scary looking that is. It's one of these long armed animals. It's got a squeaker in it as well, as you heard. I'm not gonna squeak it too much more because when I edit this video and he sat asleep next to me, I know that he's gonna wake up by hearing that squeak. And I'm sure a lot of your dogs as well. If you, should we do a test? Okay, mute the video now if you don't want your dog to wake up. And if not, get your cameras at the ready and see if this wakes up your dog and then tag me on Instagram when you share it because I'd love to see if it actually does wake up your dog. You ready? Three, two, one. Anyway, this was from um, the Webox range, which are really good. They, we have quite a few toys from them, actually. Soft and comfort, long-legged animals. Long-legged animals, that's what they're called. There was a couple of different animals. I went for the sheep, and it was five pounds. Woohoo! I'm fast learning as well that dog toys can easily get destroyed, chewed up, or like if you put them in the wash, they don't quite come out as nice as they were before, so <sighs> why not treat your little pup, hey? And that is everything that I've got. So I hope you enjoyed this Asda haul. Let me know which were some of your favorite found, founds, finds that I picked up. Definitely a big fan of those wicker placemats and also the one pound bargain fashion items. I was very pleased with them. Do let me know which supermarket you would like me to move on to next. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. Please do stick around and subscribe if you like these videos. And if you want more, give it a thumbs up. You can find me over on Instagram, which I'll leave linked below, both my fashion and my homeware. And also Barney, if you want to see him play with this, I'll do some videos over on his Instagram if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.